Yo, what's going on guys? K7 here. And in today's video, I'll be going over how to stop getting your burst snatched in Guilty Gear Strive. Um, and also pr some pretty good techniques or ways to use your burst uh, properly. So before we get into it, I want to say please like, comment, and subscribe. It greatly helps me out and it supports more content like this. Um, so to start off, I'm going to start talking about the, uh, the different kinds of bursts that are in this game. So the first kind of burst that we have in this game is the gold burst so gold burst on hit will grant you 100 percent of your attention as you can see on the bottom here i have um all my, i grant i was granted all my meter back for hitting a gold burst um that's one type of burst and i'll go over more uses about that later and the second kind of burst that we have is the wait hang on i don't have a i think uh, i i got hit with the uh the good old pc bug which is uh, always fun right let me see the fix yeah there we go Okay, so um, the second kind of bur burst that is in the game is the blue burst. So on hit, like if I, if ever, if I ever get hit by anything, right? Um, on hit or on block, mind you, I can block and also use blue burst. Um, this is basically to stop pressure or to stop damage that would otherwise kill you or put you in a bad spot. That's what this uh, mechanic is designed to do. Um, so just keep in mind that if you whiff gold burst, you will be granted uh, roughly 30% of your burst meter back. But uh, as far as blue burst goes, if you get uh, your blue burst baited, um, you are granted quite literally none. Like you, uh, you have no burst. Um, it's going to take a lot longer to get it back. So it's really important that you do not get your burst baited because if you get your burst baited, it's going to be really rough to, to win round two if you use your burst in round one. Um, now let's talk about just simple ways or, or I guess um, simple situations that burst is typically used and when you should be using it. Now, how burst works is that um, after your burst is used, whether it's blue burst, gold burst, or you get your burst baited, whatever, you gradually are granted burst as the game progresses. So if you just kind of wait it out, like you're playing kind of slow, you'll eventually get your burst back. Um, another way that you're granted burst is by getting hit. So if you just look at the uh, the burst meter, he is going up. But if you start getting hit, like if I start comboing uh, Nago here, you can see that he, his burst is starting to go up uh, faster. Now. This is important for two reasons. Um, number one, there are some characters that don't do many hits in their combos. Now, and this is, um, like I said, the, uh, the burst meter is, like, it, it goes up faster uh, the more times you're hit. So the amount of hits that is in a combo definitely matters. So if somebody's just mashing jab. You can see that I gave him his burst back just by hitting him with a lot of jabs. But for a character like, uh, let's say, Nagoriyuki, let's say um, Leo is the one that doesn't have his burst, right? For instance, Nago here, he'll actually be able to really kill Leo a lot faster. So in, in a situation like when it comes to Nago, um, you actually don't want um, to be low on burst against Nagoriyuki. Because if you're low on burst, you more than likely will not get a second chance to burst, especially if you get your burst baited. Um... But for other characters, let's say characters that need a lot of hits um, to win their rounds, like Leo, for instance. Like, I got you in the back turn, right? He's going in for his back turn mix. Um, same thing, with this happens with Milia, too. I, I want to say really quickly. Um, if, I'm, if I'm in back turn, is Leo, right? I'm in back turn. I'm trying to mix him. You know, I, I eventually get my hit. And then, uh, boom, you know, whatever. Going for your back turn mix. You see, I got to mix him a lot of times, and I have to hit him a lot of times. For me to be able to kill him but this is actually not so bad for Nagoriyuki because you can see his burst meter is rising quickly um uh this also like i said applies for milia milia a lot, like her h disc does a lot of hits um who else it goes for like faust command grab faust command grab grants a lot of hits um basically anything that with a lot of attacks will will grant um burst back quicker than usual so that is something to keep in mind when it comes to your burst um, so if you just wait it out, like I said, play slow, you'll get your burst back. And on top of that, if you're getting hit a lot by, you know, a high, a high hit combo, um, that also will grant you your burst back. Um, so with this in mind, it is important to understand the character that you're fighting and understand when is a good time to burst against them. So for instance, if, if you're fighting against Nagoriyuki, um, a lot of times, if this character hits you, you're going to be taking a lot of damage. So you kind of want to like either burst early against this character so you'll have your burst available again in the second round or you want to make sure you're bursting at a vital point in his combos um so for instance uh if, you're, if i'm playing the right and i'm doing a combo like this 
if I if I'm doing a huge combo like that, and I know, and as the opponent, if you know I'm gonna blood rage, you're like, hey, you use too many special moves. Um, let me burst, and then if you were to burst like right here, I want to say you would push me away, and I would not be able to do anything. So I think the the like a good idea or a good situation would be like a counter hit combo like this, or like Negro Yuki player is going for all this. If you don't burst this, I'm able to get a high low 50 50. So then uh, it's actually an issue for you. You lost. You lost the game because you didn't burst. Um, but in a similar in a similar situation, if Nagoya is doing the same thing, if he's like, let me hit him with this uh, this combo video, Twitter clip combo, and then you just decide to burst, back up, and now he's a, he's in a way worse position because he doesn't get the 50 50 you. Um, if I if I actually played that properly, I would be able to punish that. But you you guys get what I mean. Um, so vital point in Nagoya's combos is to be you know. Burst when he's about the blood rage, or if you use too many special moves. Um, now the same can be used for like other characters. So like for Leo, for instance, if Leo is hitting you with a combo, and if you're if you're familiar with the opponent's combo routes, so like let's like this is the combo I'm gonna do for Leo. I'll record him to do this. This is the combo that Leo's gonna do, right? It's not the worst thing. It's not the end of the world if Leo hits you with this combo. But if you know he's going to quick RC or use some meter, you want to burst when he uses his, his meter because that's going to be to your benefit. If I burst early in this combo, right, let's say I burst like here, he still has the meter he has not used, so he's able to use it for something else. Um, but if you were to, you know, instead wait for him to use a valuable resource, which is his meter, um, it, it actually could be to your benefit, which is something that you should keep in mind when it comes to bursting. Now, those are the couple, of, like, those are a couple ways that you should be using your burst. Um... Now, let me talk about one more way that you should use your burst, and that's to put yourself in an advantage, advantageous position. So if Leo, for instance, is to do this combo instead, I'm going to Corbin to do this, and then he gets back turn, I don't want to get mixed, right? So if he hits me with this, I'm like, okay, that's fine. Boom, I'm a burst, and now Leo is stuck in the corner here. As you can see, Leo is just going to be in the corner, and there's nothing he can... Like, sure, he has DP. Um, let's act like he doesn't have Mito. Let's act like that was a round start situation. But in a situation like this, he would not be able to really do much. So it's it's good to know that you can use your burst to put yourself in a good position like this. So now I have Leo in the corner, and he's basically gonna have to you know deal with my corner pressure now. So this this is another way to use your burst. Use it to you know put people in positions that they don't really want to be in, or to stop yourself from being in a position that, position that you don't want to be in. So let's say um, Leo, for instance, is gonna do something else. He's gonna do like this. Now I'm in the corner and Leo has back turn. I don't want to be here. Like, I, I don't want to be here at all. So if I know he's going to do this, if I know he's doing this right here. I could be like, okay, I don't want to get pushed to the corner. I want to, I want to take some of the screen back. I'm going to burst there. That also is a good burst. Um, so using your burst to win neutral or for positioning is actually a really good way to use it. Um, and I actually don't see it used enough. A lot of times people just like, whenever they see themselves get hit, they're like, okay, I'm a burst now. Like I got hit my burst. Or they see a fat counter hit, they're like, okay, I'm a burst. They see fat counter hit, and then they're gonna burst. But like, if you're if you're at a high level of play, you know that you can't just burst on the counter hit because you're gonna get your burst baited. Um, so for Leo, for instance, he'll do like I'm gonna make him do five H, and then he's gonna block the uh, the burst here, and then whenever he blocks the burst here, he's gonna be able to get a fat punish, right? So like, I mean, I can't record him to do the fat punish, but you you guys you guys get what I mean. Um. So that is another way that you could get your burst baited. So please be careful when it comes to that. And one more thing that I will will tell you guys about bursting is that you should not be using your burst against characters that have super burst safe combos or um, off of jump cancelable normals. So if Leo, for instance, is to do like if I if I'm like let's say you know, I'll, I'll give you guys a little situation here. Um, I'll be like thirty percent HP. And Leo's next combo uh, with meter will kill me. So he could do something like this. So me knowing that this combo will kill me, I'm like, okay, I should burst. You know, just, just this should kill, I think, right? I think this kills. Yeah, it kills. Okay, so um, so me knowing that this combo is gonna kill me, um, like I said before, you should burst at a point where his resource is being spent. But also, do not burst too early because uh, something like this could happen. If he knows that, like, okay, next hit is going to kill, he could try to burst bait, and then boom, you got your burst baited. And now, if there's another round to play, you won't get your burst back for a while, maybe even at all. 
So just important, don't burst on jump cancelable normals. And you want to burst after they use their RC if possible. Because if they don't use their RC, they could always just do something like this. So I'm like, I'm like, okay, I got hit, let me burst. And then you get your burst baited right there. You know, it just, please try to wait for them to use their meter because there's always a chance you could get burst baited uh, throughout the combo. So just keep that in mind. Um, Another technique that I kind of want to talk about when it comes to... um. When it comes to using um, burst, is you should burst to put your opponent in a bad spot, or uh, or you should burst whenever it's a situation that you don't, that you don't want to deal with. So um, for this situation, I'll show you like a Leo um, specific. It's not really Leo specific, but any character that wants to mix you, right? So this goes hand in hand with something else that I spoke about earlier. Um, burst when they use their resources. So Leo's gonna do a little mix up here that I have. He's gonna do like, uh, uh, so he's gonna do that, right? If I see I get hit by this and I know he's gonna mix me, I'm like, no, I don't wanna deal with that, just burst. This is a great way to use your burst because like I said, he used the resources and I don't wanna sit here and block this mix because I can't mash out of it. I'm sitting here mashing, I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna hit by something. Or, or if I get opened up, I get comboed. So it's not a good situation I wanna be in, especially with the low health that I have here. So I'm just gonna burst to get him out of, you know, to get out of that situation. Um, you don't, like I said, you don't always have to be getting hit to use your burst. Um, burst will definitely win you neutral or win a lot of engagements that you otherwise would not have won. Um, one last way you can use your burst is by beating your opponent's YRC. Wait, can I make him YRC? Can you YRC, please? Are you not YRC? Okay, well, whatever. I, I guess I'll just give myself meter and I'll, I'll be the one to YRC. Um, yeah, let me give myself meter. So, um... For, for a situation like this, if I am, you know, uh, if I'm getting pressured by the, uh, the Leo player or or if I'm pressuring the Leo player, let's act like I'm the Leo player here. If I'm pressuring someone and they YRC, a good way to uh, not deal with the YRC 50-50 if you manage to get hit is just bursting immediately. It, you don't want to get put in like strike those situations against certain characters. So if you get if you ever get put in a situation like this, um, you could just burst immediately, especially if you get hit by the YRC. Uh, if you get hit by the YRC, there's nothing stopping you from bursting. It, it burst will always hit there, so you don't have to guess. Um, so that's a good way to use your burst as well. Um, the last but not least way that I want to talk about using your, your burst is this one gold burst technique that you can use. It's um, typically used when um, people are trying to take their turn back on offense. Uh, so, for instance, let's say... Um, okay, yeah. So Nago's... Um, I do close slash here. I'll do close slash to see if this works. So Nago's Beyblade is minus three. So that means I actually can't even mash before Leo gets his close slash out. So me knowing that this is minus three, if I do uh, Beyblade and the Gold Burst, I, I actually will be able to uh, punish the close slash. So using my negative frames or, or my uh, my negative, uh, yeah, basically using my negative frames, I'll be able to you know understand that my opponent's gonna try to take the turn back and I'll be able to get a Gold Burst. Now, while I don't always recommend doing something like this, it definitely can win you rounds or get, get you in situations where you can definitely uh, steal a game. Because, like, let's say in this in this situation, I had no meter. I'm sure I have meter now, but let's say I didn't have any, right? I don't have any meter. I'm like 30%. Leo has like half a bar meter. He's about to make me about. He's about to pressure me. If I just do this and I'm able to get a goal burst off, I mess it up right there. If I'm able to get a goal burst off, I'll be able to get in a way better situation than I was before. By using my uh, by using my gold burst, um, I didn't mean to blow rage there, but you kind of get the idea. Um, it's just basically using your burst to get out of positions that you don't want to be in, but also putting your opponent in less advantageous situations. So, like I said, make sure they're spending their resources or they're putting themselves in the position to where if I burst here, I'm it, it's in my favor now. Now this the same thing goes on the flip side. Your opponent can also do the same thing, so that's why bursting will always be a mind game. But hopefully this video found you well and you guys stop getting your burst snatched. And, you know, because I'm definitely one of the people that will snatch your burst. I, I will do 5K jump cancel and snatch your burst. So just be ready. But um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Peace.